Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel, Paul Pluter channel, and I gotta tell you guys, today I just wanted to let you know there, I was just following up on the sale of my 5196, and I just wanted to let you know that the sale... The sale has absolutely fallen through. It has fallen through. So I, I'm in a bit of a mixed mind. I got to be totally honest with you. Um, what happened was <clears throat> I was talking to the Taswegian about selling the Lange. That's the Lange 1815 36 mil in yellow gold. And he mentioned, you know, I wouldn't mind going to a paddock. He said, I know you've got the white gold 5127 for sale. That's a, my friend's watch. And I said, yeah, yeah, that's a great watch. He goes, well, I don't really like white gold. I want yellow gold. And I would like no date manual wind. And I said, hey, I got a 5196. And I almost, I reeled him in on the fishing line. I reeled him in. And he was going to let me know today. And it, look, I had a, just, I just thought I'd follow it up, follow it up. And the sale has gone. I tell you, I was actually thinking about if I sold the 5196, I was hoping to pay off my credit card and also buy a secondhand Mazda Miata, the MX-5. I was looking at the NC, the NC, if any one of Mazda fans out there, Miata fans, the NC, either an NC Series 1 or an NC Series 2, which is sort of a, the that series ran in the noughties, noughties. Um, it's not the pop-up headlight one, it's kind of, I think it was the third series. Anyhow, I like the look of them. I would have liked to have got a Mazda Miata and paid off my card. Uh, but it looks like the deal didn't happen. The deal didn't happen. And I've kind of been a new influx. I'm in a new flux. Uh, what I probably will do, I'll tell you, at the moment, <coughs> I've had a whole lot of emotion, a whole lot of, a lot of personal stuff I'm dealing with. I've got uh, my sons, my two eldest sons. They just, things aren't going so well with that relationship. Uh, my ex-wife and me, ooh, you know, the sexless marriage is kind of, you know, it's not my gig. It was going well, but it's now it's not so good. Uh, the dating sites are a disaster. Uh, I've paid my old man back. Speaking of which, I have paid my old man back. Um, I'd have to leave that before I hit him up for another loan. But, but I was thinking, you know, you know, what would be really cool? What would be really, really cool would be to get a Mazda Miata. So I've, I've kind of, at the moment, I kind of, look, the 5196 deal didn't happen. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I am thinking I would lump all the pieces together. Uh, and I have been swamped with people saying, how much do you want, Arch? Tell me what you want. What sort of price do you, do you want there for the entire paddock collection? So I thought I'd do a few sums with you guys as I was making a vid there. So, so I don't want to break up. I, I don't want to piecemeal. I want to sell it as one big collection. So, how much would they be worth? These are these are prices all in Aussie dollars. Okay, so uh, let's look at this. The World Time, the 5110. Box papers, just had a paddock service. New strap, I want 40,000 Australian dollars. The annual calendar, it's also got a new strap, just had a service. Box papers complete. I want... I want... Who's ringing me here? Who's ringing me? Hello? 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 Who's ringing me? 
Obviously, it's not so important, is it? Hey, what do you think? Not so important? I don't think it's that important. Yep, so that's good. So the annual calendar 5035 box papers had a recent service. Uh, I would say I want $30,000 for that there. Both of those watches have the original paddock box and the newer box. So it's double box, double box. Okay, then we've got my 5127. 512. This is not the other one I'm selling. This is my one. And I'd want $25,000. Plus, I've got the deployant buckle, which is another $3,500. I've also got the 6006, which I would want. Uh, I'd want for that there $34,000. Plus, then we've got the 5196. 5196. Uh, I want twenty, twenty-three and a half thousand. Now, on top of that, there I've also got some really amazing Patek Philippe books. I've got the Madani books, which cost me five hundred and fifty euro. That's a thousand Aussie. I also got the Nick Fox book. Uh, it's about three fifty. I've got the Colt Classic, which is about 200. I've got the Rear John Reardon book, which is about 300. I've got catalogs, booklets, which I would say is probably another easily a thousand dollars. I've got a big collection of catalogs, booklets, etc., which comes to a grand total for the entire paddock collection five paddocks or box papers. Two of them are double boxed with the original box and the later box. All the uh, catalogues, the books, I've got major books on Patek. Um, you're looking at a hundred and fifty-eight thousand eight hundred and fifty. So let's do a little bit of a discount. Let's make it a hundred and fifty-five thousand Australian dollars. One hundred and fifty-five thousand. Australian dollars. That's 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 basically my life savings. Well, it's actually it's more than my life savings. So <clears throat> there you go, one hundred and fifty-five thousand. I'd like to sell it as one lot. I don't want to deal with twenty mooches. I just want to sell it. Uh, I think I've been fair on the prices. These are box papers, provenance, everything's there. Um, I'll give you the whole caboodle. The whole caboodle holds box dice. Everything there, $155,000 Australian, $155,000. I'll just convert that to US. Hey, Google, convert $155,000 Australian dollars into US dollars. $155,000 Australian dollars equals $101,292 United States dollars and 50 cents. There you go, $101,000 thousand u.s macaroonies macaroonies a hundred thousand u.s there we go the entire five piece paddock collection combo meal deal books booklets brochures catalogs magazines the works it's the works burger the absolute works it's got absolutely everything one hundred thousand u.s macaroonies there you go guys what do you think of that a hundred and hundred thousand US or a hundred and fifty five thousand Australian dollars. Yeah, that's kind of <clears throat> that's the money. That's the money shot, fuckers. The money shot. One hundred thousand. I don't want to piece ball it, sell it off, break it up. One hundred thousand US macaroonies. There we go. That's the price. <clears throat> Tell me what you think. <clears throat> Tell me what you think indeed there. So, yeah, I got to be honest with you. I, I, uh, I probably, you know, Patex. I got to be honest with you. I relaunch a different career. You know, I want to buy the absolute cheapest Porsches, cheapest Ferrari, uh, and uh, do a Hoovy. I'll do a Hoovy type comeback. A Hoovy type comeback what do you think guys 
could I become the next Hoovy? That's that's a good question. Could I do it? The next Hoovy, could I do it? That is um, um, that is a a damn good question. Could I do it? I I don't know. You know that is uh, a very very um, that's a good question. That's a very good question. So. Guys, I want to know what you think. 100,000. Could I become the next who? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Put it out to the universe. See what the universe brings for me. So $100,000. And I've also got the travel paddock, travel pouches for them. It's everything. Everything paddock I've got there. So guys, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell me what you think. And don't be afraid to put some nasty, vicious comments below. As for the Taswegian... Wow, hey man, that's okay. No problems. No, no problems. He's a cool guy. Cool guy. Man, it just wasn't to be. Wasn't to be. Wasn't to be. Wasn't to be. I'm I'm okay. It's all cool. It's all cool. It's no problems at all. Uh it's it's all cool. It's all cool. I, I quite love the watch. I love the watch. So it's all all cool. Okay, see you later. Some people love fruit. Others choose to learn Greek. Some study archaeology. Others are interested in Japanese culture. For some people, everything must work just like a Swiss watch. Others appreciate the creative disarray. There are the frontline type of people and the other type that would prefer to remain in the shadows. Most of us, however, like to study the wonders of everyday life. We cultivate traditional values in the world of modern technologies. One day, we choose exclusive restaurants. The other day, we go for street food. But there are also those people who don't have that choice at all. Some people have everything they need. And some will never have enough. Generally, a large part of our society has tons of luck when it comes to life, but we also mustn't forget to support the part that hasn't. No matter who you are, what you do, and how much you possess, if you are able to take care of the others, you have your own personal tint. Tint. Watch changes. Together. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW.